Okay, Mike one here for Tree HG. You know the number three, H for hand, G for gaming. It's an abbreviation. I'm trying to save time, which I clearly didn't do. But anyway, we are back playing part two of uh, Primal, uh, Primal, who, which was out for the PS2 back in 2003. And as you can see there, um, I can switch characters. Woo! So um, in this game, I'm able to play as either Scree or Jen through the game by pressing the select button and I'm just messing around with the controls now here when I was playing it just to see and because he's a gargoyle he can turn to stone. Anyway, um, yeah so you can switch between them at any time uh, during the game and they don't have to be in the same area which is a great thing as well. Now it will take a few seconds to load but you can swap between the two uh, players in different areas and um, I think um, I ha it hasn't happened to me so far anyway in the few few videos that I have, you know, uh, recorded. But I think that if, say, you're Scree and you're far away from Jen and you switch back to Jen, I think Scree will kind of walk all the way back towards Jen, which is kind of cool as well to have that you don't have to go looking for them. And here I am, as I said in the first video, I will be doing a lot of uh, pressing the start button looking at the map uh, because there's no um, kind of in-game map sort of thingy well there is but it's not on the screen the whole time you'll see it later on in the video so first video of a bit of action thank god thanks for everyone for watching the first video i know it was a bit tedious with all the cutscenes and that but it was um it was needed to let people know what was going on and okay there is a few little cutscenes in this but not nowhere near as many or as long as the ones in the first one primitive territorial beasts huge teeth fearsome claws fond of the dark well that's it we ain't moving oh like no. one of my exes i suspect they'd only be interested in devouring you oh great i doubt they'd find me too palatable palatable <laughs> well, particularly tasty malkai are afraid of fire i'll scout ahead see if i can find any she kind of likes making little fun of scurry i'll stay here until you get back so as you can see the action adventure type game um there will be bits like this in the game which I absolutely love where you have to pick a certain character to go <laughs> you have to go to certain areas because obviously the other character can't um like Jen can't come through here or she'll get absolutely, you know, eaten out. <clears throat> yes, that was from Azzy. I didn't have that pre planned, I swear to god I really didn't. I just just came to me. I, I think he's. I was going to say rubbing off on me, but that's not the right way uh, wording to say. Anyway, I said I was going to, um, you know, try to tell little stories as I go along. Seeing as I probably won't be able to talk about the game for the full fifteen minutes. Oh, into the map again! Woo! Oh, by the way, I think I'm. Uh, I have to go and find a way of obviously getting Jen through the area. So you'll see what I do up here. Clever clogs, Mike one. No, Mike One, you're going the wrong way. Go on, Mike One. Scuttle on in. <sighs> you see, I keep checking everything just to see what buttons I can press. Can I use them? Because it's been years and years since I played it. Anyway, stories. Uh, yeah, I'll start with this one. Most of them, I will let you know, will probably um, have Scoldy Balls in it. <laughs> now, for people who don't know who Scoldy Balls is... Woohoo, I got fire! Uh, Scoldy Balls is my best friend and uh, we be friends for Jesus I don't know he'll have to tell us I don't know 15 16 years I don't know more anyway um oh and also he he's done a few videos for us and he's also done videos a lot of videos with us doing like the left for dead videos and stuff like that so um hopefully he'll be back to do more videos in the you know in the not so distant future you know it's a very busy man child man child i don't know that's what he is well let's just say he's a he's a tough guy but if he saw a bouncing castle in the distance you know he just kind of leave the fight and shoot on down to have a bouncy bounce anyway uh when was it? about 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 2000 it was um we were 
going into sixth year we were and our family were going to head off for a few weeks to France so we said for myself and my one of my sisters ooh fire yeah they don't like fire 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 pissy fire 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 anyway um sorry if I keep kind of stopping in between um stories because I kind of do that a lot I do so just bear with me I will end I will finish up the story eventually um if I do get sidetracked anyway um yeah, we were going into six year where our family were going off to France for a couple of weeks and they said would we like to bring some friends with us. So um I said, Yeah, definitely. Obviously Scoldy was first choice, only choice, first choice. What am I talking about? Only choice. Um I didn't have my blow up dolls at that time. And my a younger sister as well got to, to bring a friend as well, but that's besides the point anyway. So the night before we were heading off, getting ready to go on the ferry and stuff like that, um the owl man, the dad, the boss man decided to do kind of a bonfire to get rid of some rubbish and crap like that just to get rid of, you know, and we're heading off anyway for a few weeks, so it didn't matter if it was burning way up in the backyard. And um, so, yeah, he got, he got like, you know, oh, there's the map, by the way, people. There's the map you can press. You can see by the screen what goes on. Um, I'm not looking really at the screen to see what's going on in the game. But anyway. So we got a few kind of, you know, rubbish bags around the place and that and from like anyway <laughs> he did the bomb fur up the back and it was it was going away, no problem. We were keeping an eye on it myself and Scaldy, you know, just keeping an eye that everything was okay. And of course as a young lad, Scaldy needed to take a piss on it. Oh sorry, urinate. I'll say urinate. So he walked over to the bomb fur and he was urinating away and it was a bit of hissing and Hissing and pissing. <laughs> hissing going on in the fire. And um, he there with the lad out, you know. Hissing and pissing away into the fire. And um, next thing, bang! Massive explosion. And he just leaps back, he does. Now, I mean completely leaps back. Never seen an, even a cat doing a uh, leaping like this lad. Complete and utter. Nearly backflipped. That's how big of a leap it was. Like, I'm really selling this leap, you know, I'm trying to really sell this leap. Oh, by the way, you can see here now, Scree can walk up walls, and he says he can walk up most walls, and that's a load of crap, that is. He can't walk up every wall. He can walk up walls that doesn't have any kind of little plinth or reveal at the bottom of it, um, or most of those type of walls. Like, he can walk up those walls there, but you can't walk up the wall either side of the door, if you can see there with a the little plinth on it. So, Scree, you were telling us lies. But anyway, yeah, he jumped back, there was a massive bang, and he had lad in hand and all, cupping himself. What happened, actually, was the sister had put a few aerosol cans, yes, people, aerosol cans, into the fire. Help me out, would you? And um, the fire made them explode. And Scaldy Boz was looking out, I've never seen his um, member Okay, okay, that's a lie. That for another story. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. I'll, but I'll tell you that in another story. At the time, no. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I don't know why I'm keep backtracking on things. Damn that he um, uh -oh. leapt back, and his whole pointer finger on the side of his pointer finger, leading down to his thumb area, was completely and utterly burnt, like with plastic or something from the fire. And all he could say was, gee, like, he uh, he must have been in agony with it anyway. But he, all he could think of was, imagine if he didn't have his, if, his, he, if he didn't have his hand there. <sighs> lads, now, lads out there, you can testify to this. That would not be happy. Having, you know, an all year round Johnny on your member. That would not be nice. Um, oh, I can just. Oh, no, 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 no. He was absolutely blessed, he was. Completely and utterly blessed. His hand was in the right place at the right time, I suppose. Because for the whole two weeks, he had to get bandaged. And it just it really was a sore injury, it was. But imagine how worse that could have been. So, we laugh about it the whole time we do. Like, he nearly got his, you know, his Mickey burned off, he did. <laughs> like, what a way to start a, start a store, you know, to start a, start a fire. Or start a fire, what am I? Start a holiday. Are you taking a piss in the fire and nearly got his Mickey blown off, that one. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, 
that was the little story anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope Scully Boss doesn't mind me telling telling the story. He likes telling it to people anyway. And there'll be more of kind of messy stories with not messy, messy, messing stories with uh, Scully as we go through this uh, playthrough of Primal. And as you can see here, this is the king. God damn it, I've talked over nearly the whole thing I shouldn't have talked, I'm sorry. That's why I put the subtitles on. I'll stop talking now. You seem ill-equipped to be helping anyone. Take this, and you may just survive the night. Thanks. I have no more time for strangers. I must return to the Great Temple. Perhaps tonight my prayers will be answered. I guess we know what he prays for. The safe return of his son. Come on, Scree. We can do it. Let's find this Jared. Yeah. I'm you go, Jen. You wish. I'll add him to the list. Hey. Why do you call me a half-breed? <laughs> Perhaps it's time for me to scout ahead again. So now, back to gameplay. I don't even know what I was doing there in the gameplay. Um, I actually wasn't looking at the screen. I think I just went in and met the king. I think that's all that happened in, in, in the, the game so far. And I can see this playthrough being a long playthrough. And hopefully I do the whole lot and, st and stick it up, uh, you know, stick it up online. Because I love this game and there's some cool bits I know that do happen in the game. And what you what doing? Ha what happens to the they're important. You'll find out later. And you will too. One strange critter, Scree. <clears throat> Maybe he has a thing for... His tail isn't completely horizontal, but I think... Oh! Doing! <laughs> oh, I got lucky here. I did uh, find in that place. There. I could have been looking around that area for ages. It was just a... It was lucky I walked forward into it. So as you can see, you can break down loads of um, barrels and wooden objects um, along the way, or some wooden objects along the way, because there could be lodestones or health things inside it. At the moment there, I was looking around for a torch, or was to, to, to light it, to get through the tunnel. The darkness. It's not so dark now, Jesus Christ. Nice lighting effects for an old game. I re I really love this game. I do. I can't believe it was like four years since I played it. Um, I completely forgot my about my PS2 because um, before Mazzy started playing um, on the Xbox and that, I gave him my old this PS2 that I'm playing on, and he played a few different games and stuff on it. And then he ended up I'm getting the Xbox, but I kind of general. forgot I had it stored away. <laughs> Here we go back to the map again. Woo! -hoo. I'm trying to find a way to get Jen across. Ooh, shudder and shake. And there is cool action in this game, I know that. Like, later on, obviously, when it gets into the game, there's going to be a lot of, you know, fighting and stuff that goes on, and... It's, it's kind of cool. It's a really cool game. For that. See, it doesn't give you an indicator when you're beside... So well, yeah, no, it doesn't really give you an indicator when you're beside something to do it. Um, you just kind of have to press X. Is it X or square the whole time? I can't remember. No, it's square. Look at that model walk. Naomi Campbell, eat your heart out. So now, coming up to the end of the video, but, thank God for this video anyway, there, oh, what's that to the left? Look, here she comes. Woohoo! So she does come down, she didn't come far, but she does come to meet you, if she kind of knows you're in the area. So here goes Jan, first fight scene, woohoo! And I run away, uh, well done Mike one. <laughs> Gunk. The big willy head. Oh, go on, go on. Stop that bitch. 
Now, as you can see there, did you see Scree? Scree will turn to stone in the middle of a fight scene because he doesn't fight. Go on, go on, go on. Stab him. Spin attack. Woo! And killed him. Woohoo! So anyway, people, that's part two. Um, and hopefully you stay with us for part three. Thank you very much. Mike Wan, out! Sneaky Boo!